so we finally, finally have the white mask, we have the black mask, now we can go use them to get the Crystal Scepter, I think, or to get the Ultima Scroll. Uh, I just, just park it real quick. Yeah. They're like, oh, got pee. <laughs> uh, We're on a boat. Pee off the side. Nope. Oh, I need privacy. Put the killer fish and the hell diver. Yeah. Like, holy why is, shit. Why doesn't the hell diver eat the fish? Mm. Granted, that's a pretty badass fish. It looks bigger than the hell diver. So what I do here is I remember from playing through the game uh, back in Afghanistan, you go up to this tower to get the Ultima Scroll, but I can't go there yet because I forgot there's an intermediary step. So you can't just enter it at you all? You can't just enter it yet. You need the Crystal Scepter in order to open the door. But before you get the Crystal Scepter, you need to do two things. Which one do I do first? You yeah, first need to... Fight. Yeah. Oh, always get in the fights. <laughs> uh, first, you need to go to Mysidia, that magic town, and put the white mask onto a statue for some reason. <laughs> then you have to go somewhere else and put the black mask... Well... You'll see in a moment. It's pretty dumb. It's super dumb. Oh man, I can't wait for super dumb. Mm -hmm. Super dumb Osborne. <laughs> super Dave's awesome. Yeah, he is. I just, uh, I gotta re-listen to all of Norm Macdonald live just because the times that he calls Super Dave are the best. <laughs> oh man, Dark Flan. Dark Flan, but I can't really find an elemental weakness for them, and they're not, they're not worth the effort to fight. So I think from this point onward, I just run away. Like a coward. And like most flying, you can't actually hurt them with physical attacks. Except with the Ripper. Because yeah. again, the Ripper just punches through uh, enemy defense. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> but again, it's just not worth the effort. So fuck it. <sighs> Where are you going? <laughs> Dark flan. Hi, guys. Get some yum yums in my tom -toms. <laughs> No, Dark flan. And this town's just filled with those dumb mages. Except they're not white or black mages. They're just wearing red, red shit. They're not even actually yeah. red mages. They're just and wearing now, red stuff. If I, You know what? I just realized that if you got the Mysidia early and really ground out Gil, you could kind of break the game. Because you could buy a very powerful weapon very early. I love, love, love named weapons that are named after specifically yeah. what they Werebane, do. Yeah, or Ogre Killer. Like, or what they've done. Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. Like, I love the idea that, like, hey, this specific type of beast is really difficult to deal with, so this weapon was designed for uh -huh. it. Or it's done this. <laughs> like, it, this weapon it's has like God done Slayer. that. Yeah. Yeah. I love that shit. Like, I love the Mage Masher. That's, like, still That's, one yeah. of my favorite weapons, mm -hmm. just because of what its purpose yeah, was Yeah, you know what it does right away. Oh, man, Blitz Pricing is enabled. Ooh. I gotta go. <laughs> we gotta make that money. How do you think we make all these videos? I gotta make, I, I gotta make that tree fitty. Gonna make that $4 or so per delivery. Ooh, ooh. I'll totally, once it's not shitty outside, I'll definitely be doing... Oh, well, sure. Well, I plan on getting Maybe. a car, too. Yeah. Like, it just depends, but... I, I'm debating with myself if I want to get back into it. Yeah. Like, once the weather gets weather gets better. So, this this is the magic shop I talked about, where it's five vendors, and between them, they seem to have every scroll outside of the Ultima one. Mm. Cure, blink, shield, shell, everything you need. All in one handy location, except the leveling system means that most magic is fairly useless. <laughs> so, fuck it. So you can come all the way down here and buy holy if you if you had twenty thousand gil in your pocket and the the wherewithal to get <coughs> to get here, then yeah, you, you would have some powerful magic. But getting here's a pain in the ass, as it should be. Yeah, makes you know? sense. Being an open world game, it doesn't mean that you should be able to go everywhere, but that you can. Fear. Mm -hmm. I don't even know Except what Basuna does. I don't know. Silence. It's somehow different from Isuna. Is it, it's not silence, or is silence just its own thing? I don't know. Uh, no, uh, silence is its own thing. Basuna, I, I think it heals different um, ailments than Isuna, oh. but I don't know what. And this guy just tells me I need the crystal rod. So I'm like, oh, okay. What's up here? Apparently it's just an empty room. I don't think a game should ever just have an empty space, unless it's going to be used later. Yeah. Or if there's, like, a consequence for going into uh -huh. it. It's like, uh-oh, you're being, you're being arrested. 
Yeah, I was doing a yoga practice the other day that was just like on your wrist the whole time. Uh, oh yeah, those are. You always think that oh yeah, my wrists are strong enough until you do something like that for you know forty five minutes. Like this, Oof. this bone right here. Here, like it, it just be oh, on yeah. this forever. Mm-hmm. So this this is the first statue. We come down all the way down here and we throw the white mask onto it. It's like yay. Except I try the black mask at first and nothing happens. <laughs> I try asking it some stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I have a white mask. So I'm dumb. <laughs> Where, oh, there it is. We got this, guys. I can do I'm, this. I'm so, I can't believe how long it took them to realize, hey, we should have separate... It's like a Metroid. Yeah, it's, it's like to a its head. fucking <laughs> Dio... Like a fucking <laughs> Pillar Man so, yeah, mask. Yeah, stone mask. <laughs> now, that, now that statue can stop time. Fuck. Don't fuck with that mm-hmm. statue. But um, I, I can't believe how long it took for them to think, hey, we should have separate item and key item inventories. I don't know if the programming just didn't exist at the time, or what, but it seems like a very obvious design decision. Yeah. It's like, this is choking up the inventory, we should separate this out, or something. Fucking, I don't know, fuck. We didn't think anyone would actually beat the game. <laughs> These games weren't meant to be beaten. You were meant to just, like, hit your head against it for a long, long time so you feel like you got your money's worth. We didn't know they'd run out of space. <laughs> We thought for sure you would just go through your inventory of stuff. What, with having to equip items in order to use it at all, and all? Mm-hmm. And so, because we don't have an airship yet. Oh, fuck, where are these? Oh. First, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch him to death, and then I just give up. But, of course, it wouldn't let me just run away at first. Always let your player just run away from battle. Take something from them. Take gill. Take experience. Do something. Look yeah. at them get an attack of opportunity. Do something. But let me run away like a big coward. Like, don't have the option there. I mean, shit. Shit. Sons of bitches. All you game developers who are listening to us right now. <laughs> shit. Come on, guys. I mean, shit. These these might be the most fun-looking flans in any of the Final Fantasies, though. Yeah, they're just so they're happy to be there. The Final Fantasy twelve. well, the Final Fantasy nine flans are pretty good. Final Fantasy XII flans are also pretty good, and one of them has a thing for the ladies, <laughs> which I'm sure has inspired some frightening fan art. Oh. But, um, these ones are just so goofy, and they just seem to be, like, slouching back and using their own fat as a chair. Yeah, oh, they look comfortable. Mm-hmm. Because they rub their tum-tum. Alright, so what's in this cave of wonders? In this cave, in this dark cave of wonders, there is... I believe this is where the crystal rod itself is. But before we can get in here, we had to use the white mask, and now we have to come in here and use the- oh, fuck. Fucking Marlboro Rose. The most frightening now. moment in Final Fantasy is the first time you encounter a Marlboro. And that might be the first one. I don't remember if they occur in Final Fantasy 1 or not. Fucking gnarly looking enemy. They're always gnarly. God damn. And they always like to kick your ass. It's, it's that bad breath. First time I encountered bad breath, I went, oh. Oh dear. Are you gonna get some ninja suit? Oh. Yeah, boost agility. I'm like, fuck that. For her sake, it's at least a pretty significant yeah. defense increase. Oh, she's got. I remember I actually bought stuff. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> they're just looking at the inventory, like, can I use that yet? No. And it's like, shut up, Gus. Gus is oh. like, can I. Can Gus, can Gus wear a gold blade? Shut up, Gus. Oh, Gus, shut up. Gus would bleed much less. <laughs> Shut up, Gus. I'm convinced this is a troll door, but I think I go through it anyway. Just because maybe it's not. Maybe this one isn't. But why wouldn't it be, right? <laughs> I, haven't, I don't understand the geometry of that room. Like, it looked like there was just a wall, uh-huh. and then you're in a whole room. Yeah, more or less. You... Those vines in the background look more like shaggy hair. Mm-hmm. I'll take a good look at them the next time we get into a fight. Just a shaggy hair fucking area. It's like... Yeah, I see it. It's not... Yeah, it's it's a big, giant living thing you're in. Uh-huh. It, which which is in desperate need of conditioner. Another Furion. Oh, what's this? Dark Furion. I wish it was Dark Furion. That'd be way more interesting. 
he's got like all the confidence that Furian wishes he had. And Furian's yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Like, damn it. Like, dark Furian just walks up to Princess Hilda and is like, Yo, Hilda, check out what we did. He punched the Emperor a bunch. <laughs> his dick. Doppelganger's not moving. Furian's good heart is binding its movement. I don't know what that means. Furian's good heart is binding yeah. its movement. So to get past it, we need to put the black mask on it. <laughs> no. We went on that whole quest for that. What? That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. What the fuck is that all about? And they never explain what the black mask does. It's just something you get, and then it does that, and you go, okay. You know what I would would have much preferred is okay. It's your doppelganger. Kill it. Uh huh. And it's a decent fight. Yeah. And then there's another statue. You put the mask on. Uh huh. Like for what reason? I don't know, but you just do. Like, but it's like. The, I don't know, the, the statue sees you, and because it sees you, it spawns a mirror of you, and you have to fight that, but you put the black mask onto the statue before it can spawn another one, and mm. that stops it from spawning your doppelgangers. Something. Like the, the statue makes a doppelganger of whatever it sees. Uh-huh. But the black mask has the power to stop that. Yeah. Somehow. And the white mask does something else. I'm tearing through these guys now. Yeah. I, I, I was feeling pretty good at this point, because I got... Finally got those weapon upgrades, and so my my power level just it didn't even curve up; it just <laughs> went straight up. Lance, huh? mm -hmm. and mod modern games are better about this, where they distribute weapons in a consistent fashion. Not everyone will get upgrades at the same time. You know, maybe you go to a city and they sell upgrades for everyone, but the, the good stuff is always out in the wild. Yeah. And so you might have to wait for that. And you, oh, here's here's a weapon for Cloud. Here's a weapon for Tifa. Here's one for Barrett and Nuffy, whomever. Um, fuck. Early on, they were just all over the place. It's like there's just a big cache of weapons here, and then nothing for two hours, and then here's some more, and then nothing for five hours, and you go fuck. Throw me a bone. My sword's all chipped up and shit. Like <laughs> now, the Shrieker is a regular enemy. Oh well, that I, fucker I fought nice. earlier. Yeah. And yellow jellies aren't so bad, so I'm fine fighting them. See, I can just destroy <laughs> it. Two hits. One one attack with her. Nice. Which it, it's a concept I like is when bosses return as regular enemies later in the game. I just don't like how it's implemented here because the regular enemies have so much defense that if they occur later in the game, you can't can't hurt them. Well, if everyone That's, gets turned yeah. to stone, are you fucked? I, I would be fucked. Uh, that one very nearly fucked me, didn't it? That's crazy. That's half the party just immediately immediately petrified. Holy shit! To the point where I I believe I purchased gold needles because they're the only useful healing item for me. It's like I don't really need potions. But fuck, if I can turn to stone, I'm done. Yeah, what the hell? I am done. I always hated those attacks that could just turn everyone into stone. It's like, that's, it's, come on. Any that's... attack that can instantly wipe out your party, if it's not coming from a boss where you know to prepare for it, is bullshit. It shouldn't be in there. Because it... it... If it's a game that expects a lot of preparation from you, that's one thing. Right? You know that the game's gonna fuck with you, and so it's like, I need to go in here prepared for silence and stone and instant death effects. And if the game is giving you the means to prepare for that, <clears throat> fine. Maybe then ambush me with it, but in a game that gives you no way of preparing for that, it's nonsense. It takes any agency out of the player's hands. I lost because of a bad roll. That's all it yeah. is. And that's... I, I get it, you elite gamers. You, you you love how hard your games are. Oh lol, go play D and D. Total party wipe. Am I white? Am I am I white? But fuck that. That's not fun. Yeah. It's not fun when you play Final Fantasy One and you're going you're going all the way down to fight chaos and then the Kraken or whomever just uses an instant death spell in your whole party and that's it. You're dead. Because well, you're dead. Because you got a bad roll. You know, or those, uh, those one spells that put, like, a counter on you? And Doom? It's like, yeah. yeah. I mean, those are a little, those aren't as bad, but I still hate them. They're, they're, they at least give you time to react, and it gives you, in some cases, it gives you a nice, stressful ticking clock. Yeah. Some cases, it's too much. In Final Fantasy IV, they're too much, because 
time flows a lot faster there than you would think. And so it's... Th there's one enemy in particular in the final dungeon called Plague, who casts Doom on your whole party and is a 10 second countdown, but because of how fast things move in Final Fantasy IV, by the time your first character gets an attack off, Doom is already down to 7. Oh shit. And that's if you put in an attack right away. So before anyone even acts, it's like seven, and then by the time you get your second round of attacks, it's down to four. <laughs> You're like, oh my god! Oh my god! And the only way to actually do that fight is to intentionally kill one of your characters before the Doom counter ends, and then resurrect them, because then the enemy will recast Doom on the party, and it refreshes the countdown. So you get a few more seconds to act. <laughs> Stupid enemy. It's nonsense. But it does give you the strongest weapon for Kane, I think. Eat glass this macaroon. Macaroon! Mm. I'm glad I went with the macaroon and not like a muffin or yeah. something. This was plenty. You know, I always feel terrible after a muffin. Both physically and psychologically. Because mm. I think, man, fuck, that mm. was. I could have had five oranges. Unless it's for like the a, same caloric load. If it's a total like brand muffin, oh yeah, then I'm like I'm cool with it. If it's a if it's a you know well baked brand muffin, I don't know sugar substitute, low fat, Nut, whatever nuts and fruit in it. Yeah, then I feel like well <laughs> that was still bad for me, but it did have some benefits. But if it's just like a Here's cupcake, a yeah, if it's just a, a glorified cupcake. Like, this, is, this isn't breakfast. A cupcake would be bad enough. This is an extra big cupcake. This isn't, oh my god. This isn't breakfast at all. Now Mom. I feel like shit. This is just chocolate chip cake. And the worst part is I'm not even filled up. I still need to eat. Because I need protein. <laughs> and carbohydrate. Oh no. This was basically lard with a few blueberries in it. Oh fuck me. <laughs> oh. This is just chocolate chips suspended in yellow sponge. Basically. <laughs> it's like how banana bread is an insidious way to let you eat cake in the middle of the day. Oh, man. It's just banana cake, but we call it bread for some reason. Love banana bread, though. I, was, I just was making banana bread one time, and I thought about the recipe, and I went, this is cake. Mm. This is just an cake. I was... I was making a banana bread recipe, and I think I halved the sugar. I do that every time. And the sugar was like a lot. Like it's, it was. Uh, Alton a Brown's lot. recipe is one cup of yeah. sugar for the little loaf. I'm like, that's too much, man. Like, and then when I to quote BoJack Horseman, when I halved it and it still tasted just fine, yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> why do they do this? Like, why would you need that much sugar? It wouldn't taste good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have, I, I, I love sweet things way more than I should, but I do have a real problem with it these days. Where, if it's, if it's sweet, I just feel so shitty afterwards. I want more flavors than just sweet. I like tart, and I even now that I, I drink so much coffee, I enjoy bitter. I love bitter, like especially chocolate bitterness. Yeah, you know, like, cut with a little bit of sweetness because raw chocolate is oof. Yeah. But just that more dark bitter chocolate, I yeah. love that. I wish more chocolate tried to be that instead of just the standard, you know, Hershey's super sweet chocolate. I make this breakfast sandwich once in a while, and I'll saute kale, uh -huh. and then um, I'll I'll be like cooking up the breakfast meat, like ham, whatever it is, and then right when it's all done, I just dump a little coffee over it, oh. and then like let it saute in the coffee, uh -huh. and use the coffee to like deglaze mm -hmm. the pan and pick up everything. Oh man! And so it's got this real bitter flavor to the kale and the and the meat. And I'm yeah. just like, yeah, I love that bitter. You know, my my favorite my favorite beverage existed for about a month. It was Coca Cola Black. Coke Black was Coke mixed with coffee. What? It wasn't. <laughs> And it came in glass bottles. It was weird. That sounds good. It what? It, it didn't. It sounds pretty good. It was. It was more coffee than Coke because if you looked at the back, it was like seventy-five calories to a bottle, and it was like a standard serving of you know soda. Well, that's size. why they stopped selling it. It wasn't killing enough people. Exactly. It wasn't killing enough people. <laughs> but I. It's. It's funny because it, it. It periodically pops up in my life. But I remember waking up super early to go to the fucking rifle range because I was in the Marine Corps and I went over to the commissary and like I need something. And you see Coca-Cola Black. I'm like, Coke and coffee? Fuck it. And I drank it and went, this is the best thing I've ever had. Yeah, that sound, that's like this the This is perfect. the best I've ever had. Yeah. And then a few <laughs> years ago, maybe it was only two years ago, uh, Stifler from... Um, the Pie? The Artist. Oh. No, 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 no. The, the Artist from... 
Chaos Life. Chaos Life, thank you. They they posted about their love of Coca Cola Black, and I sent them just a, a comment, just being like, I found I found someone else who loves it. <laughs> and then last year, when I was still doing my um, not internship, not apprenticeship, Men mentorship, mentorship with the you know the the gentleman from Coke, mm -hmm. I in, during one of our conversations, I brought up Coca Cola Black, and he's like, I loved it so much, but it just. It just, it, it, it didn't sell. Just people they weren't buying it. I'm like, you should really try to bring it back, man. Yeah, I think it... Because that was... Yeah. I, I think now that... Well, Americans have long had a love of coffee, but I think coffee is becoming particularly trendy now. Well, there are It the, seems. There are the waves of coffee, mm -hmm. right? And, oh, yeah. And we're like in the third or fourth wave, or maybe... I don't know. And so I think people are really into it. Uh -huh. And uh, I think the idea of... Especially if Coke were to market Coke... Coca-Cola Black, or give it a maybe give it a new name because unfortunately, millennials like to call things racist. Um, maybe give it a, a, a dark, name. Coke Dark, or Coke. I don't know, just something. Fuck it. You yeah. have a whole marketing firm. Think of something better than Coke Black. But <laughs> I, I think they could market it as a a, a trendy sort of drink. Some, yeah. Some mix Coke and coffee. Get because it's a combination that you and I hear it and we go. That sounds great, yeah. but a lot of people be like, "Ew," because they don't realize. Well, Coke is mostly just sugar, <laughs> and it's made from the cacao bean, which is already like a roasted bean to begin with. So it makes sense that coffee, being a bitter roasted bean, would probably work well with that. A little bit of sweetness and the fizziness. Yeah, it would be great to like it, because it's cook not, with it. It'd be great to cook with. It's not overly sweet. It just has a little kick of sweetness to it to you know cut yeah. that coffee bitterness. And the the bitterness of the coffee does go well with the 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 acidity of Coke. Mm -hmm. this Coke is more acidic than Pepsi, and the uh, boldness of that um, you know cola flavor yeah. that uh, Coke has. I just want to try to make it myself. That now. that's something I've thought about. I thought about it and like, okay, I know there are seventy five calories to a bottle, right? We can figure out how how much Coke that represents. And so we can start with a baseline and go, okay, we know that represents, let's say, four ounces of Coke. Or eight ounces, whatever. Mm -hmm. So we start with eight ounces of Coke. Now we just need to find, like, a, a, sh a strength of coffee that we can mix with that. It would be pretty easy. I, I feel like if... Uh, it's been so long that I wouldn't remember exactly how it tasted, but I know we could ballpark like, it. Like, what I would do is, because I, I have a soda stream, uh -huh. I would just get the cola... You know, it wouldn't be Coke, but I would get the cola syrup... I would make cold brewed coffee, yeah, and then I would just mess with it in the soda stream until I came up with something that at least something that you like, yeah, right? I at least like. There's yeah. no need to adhere to the the original because obviously that didn't really appeal or take off. But mm. fuck, I think I'll just make that myself. Yeah, we should yeah. fuck around this with summer. That this summer. Yeah. Oh my god, I, I'm looking just forward make, to that. Make, oh. Like we'll make <laughs> summer, summer. <laughs> yeah, I love winter, but it's past the point of winter that I enjoy. So well, come yeah. back spring. I mean, I love fall. Yeah. And, and yeah, winters, I like the crispness, like the cold we've been having uh -huh. hasn't been the worst, but I want long days back. Mm -hmm. I just want long days. I want long days and I want my cold brew coffee back. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll make several, we'll make several potencies of coffee, mm -hmm. just cold brew it. Like this is one cup of coffee with X amount of grounds, one cup with, you know, two X, one cup yeah. with three X, et cetera, et cetera. And then we'll mix those with. You know, soda syrup or whatever and then find something good this is it this is the recipe yeah and then we'll fucking set up a stall and we'll go coke black returns yeah. until coke comes to shut us down and we'll go we got warrants and flip the table and run <laughs> god that's a good fucking idea yeah we'll fucking let's try to do that let's try to find like in the spring when things get warm enough to justify a nice cold mm. beverage let's find our recipe for it yeah and we'll then... fucking America test kiss kitchen that yeah. shit and then we'll, we'll we'll see what we can do, as far as not even bottling, just like serving to the public. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure in a town like this, there are plenty of people who would lose their shit. Like go for coffee, you say, huh? Let me try that. They go, oh, oh man. I'm gonna drink it to myself. Mm -hmm. and be like fuck, I'm gonna oh, I'll go with a burger. I'm thinking like the the cola coffee drink with uh -huh. a burger sounds so good. But, nice. Mm. Nice rich burger with nice salty fries. Yeah. 
That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Especially, I'm thinking like the kind of burger that has like onion rings and a little barbecue sauce on yeah. it or something. Yeah, so barbecue sauce would be good because it has a bit of sweetness Ooh. to it. Ah. Sometimes too much sweetness, but it has that nice sweetness to it. And so, uh, Coke with coffee is a bit bitter. Mm -hmm. A little lightly sweet, a bit bitter. The, the, the sweetness, I think, would help offset that. And then the richness of the meat as well. You'd have lots of fat in there for flavors to suspend themselves in. I'm oh gonna, my god, that sounds so good. I'm gonna have to like bust out one of those subway coupons. Yeah, there's a subway nearby. Yeah, I'm I know. Just, I was I've seen that stopping by there on my way home. <laughs> it's like I need some food because I'm hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Thinking about all this shit. Yeah. yeah. That avocado toast like fill, filled the void for a bit. Oh but... yeah, and the the coffee <laughs> helps stymie the yeah. hunger, but now it's all coming back with a vengeance. Especially when the coffee wears off. Yeah. I think we've talked it's, about it's like instant. It's, it's like an effect. Yeah. Like, yeah, this, status will, effect. this will stave off the hunger, but yeah. once it wears off, it's like, oh it, boy. It's like the sodas that you get in Citizens of Earth. Where it's like, this gives you a, a boost for a little while, but once it wears off, you get a debuff for a little oh, while. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's cool. It's mm -hmm. like drugs. Yeah. <laughs> It's like joy. I think that's how joy works in Lisa. Oh, yeah. You, you, you take it, but then once it's, it wears off, you're fucked. Mm hmm. That game. Mm hmm. I'll play it sometime. I wonder how long it is to beat, because I, I, if if I know it's only about four or five hours, I'll just fucking, you know, main I don't quest think, it. Yeah, I don't think it's very long. That's the thing. Um, Wooly was talking about it on the friend cast a year or two ago. Because he played that, and he played the prequel or the expansion, whatever yeah. it was that came out. Like Lisa the Joy, I think it was called. Okay. Joyful, uh, probably. The yeah. Joyful, yeah, that was it. Um,. Like he played both of those, and he seemed to get through them fairly quickly. And yeah. I think he did say they're, the main line is like four to five hours or so, and then the, the Joyful is pretty short. I think he said it's an hour, oh, approximately. Cool. I might be wrong on that. It might be just as long as the main game. But they're not like Bioware RPGs, Yeah. which we're going to have to play Mass Effect sometime. I'm down. Not I this, mean, maybe not this year? No. Because fuck... No, but well, sometime. Sometime when it's been like a maybe while. Maybe that'll be a smaller project for next year. Yeah. I don't know. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll play... See. And, and then you'll be able to experience Mass Effect and go, so that's what all the hubbub is about. I mean, I just... I tried. Yeah. And I was like, I can't. Yeah. And I can... Mass Effect 1, in particular, can be a bit difficult to get through. Uh, finally, we're at the end of this dungeon, in the most unassuming room. But Mass Effect 1 can be a bit difficult to get through, because it's... It takes more chances than either of its sequels do. And in so doing, it can feel esoteric and unwelcoming to individuals who aren't familiar with Bioware RPGs and I'm amazed I got that whole sentence out. <laughs> I like how Maria is like, attacking with a fucking like popsicle. Yeah, <laughs> it always appeared like um, a sex toy to me. <laughs> Just butt plugging. Yeah, basically. across the face. The Great American Challenge. <laughs> Finally we have the Crystal Rod. Crystal Rod! Main. Like a name, like a front woman of a band. Yeah, Crystal Rod. So now we got this shit that we came here for. Mm -hmm. And now we can fuck off out of here. Why don't you heal everyone back up? There's an uncertain way I did. But I'm just gonna fuck off out of here in a moment. Because Gus looks so sad. Gus always sad. <laughs> World is nightmare. <laughs> Zoop. <laughs>